Hey, what's up guys? Justin Mondak here. I uh, thought I'd get out here and do a little uh, update on my pickup. Uh, it's a 05 Ford F250 and did a couple of things to it so far. I got her all pretty well loaded out how I drive it every single day. Um, you know, and, and just for uh, emergencies or um, just everyday everyday use. So I thought I'd show you guys a little bit of what's uh, going on, what I have in it, and um, we'll get into this. I hope everybody's doing good. If you guys like these type of videos, leave me a comment. I like talking to you guys, hit that thumbs up, it really helps, and uh, subscribe. So stay tuned, guys. <laughs> So, here she is. Um, like I say, it's a 2005 Ford F-250. Uh, just got done. Yeah, I need a new visor, <laughs> rain reflector. But uh, a couple weeks ago, went and got some uh, new wheels and tires. Well, the wheels are off of that Facebook marketplace, you know. And uh, tires, they are the Federal Courageous 35-12-50-20s. Uh, should do very very well in any kind of uh situation that i get into but this is this is it i completely love this pickup i got some new shocks that i still got to put in it the ones that are on here now these ones are completely shot i mean there's there's no shock left in those things so i got some uh, bilstein 5100s that i'm putting on it and uh i was going to try to do it today it's a little chilly still trying to get over this flu that we've had but uh yeah this is her very happy with it love the camper shell on it um through the summertime i'll probably take it off i have a toolbox that i put in the bed through summertime but wintertime i mean even all year round you know if i ended up having to <coughs> stay in this for some reason i can throw whatever i have in my uh in my get home bag and and sleep right in there pretty darn comfortably so we'll get inside of this thing i also have a uh a little review that a company sent me one of them uh tactical seat deals you know for the back and so that's it now it didn't come with any of the uh, attachments or molly bags or nothing it's just this flat piece here and the buckles i can see it working better on on the type of headrests that adjust up and down this one i mean it works but kind of looks stupid if you know what i mean and then it's got buckles that go around the seat but i just attached a couple of things got a first aid kit um this is one of those cheap ones you buy at walmart and uh of course i've added quite a bit of stuff to it we'll get into that and uh, another little pouch that i got some goodies and just a quick access little shovel, just in case you got to dig a potty hole or something like that for the kids. But um, always got a case of water in here. It's nice just to reach back, grab a bottle of water. You can see where I grab in there and take it out. But um, yeah, this is it. I got a uh, blanket here. The old lady likes to stay warm. And then that just covers my uh, my bag there. So <laughs> a little easier or a little harder. You know, for people to kind of look in there, they just see a bunch of crap. Uh, <laughs> went to the laundromat, so I still got uh, laundry detergent and stuff in there. We had uh, a lot of laundry, so we just went there and did it. But, yeah, that's that's what we got in there. Um, for the back seat, let me see if I can get this thing out of here. I probably should have set it up a little bit better, but, oh, well, it is what it is. So, in the back, I have... If I can get this thing down, we'll be all right. There we go. So back here, got quite a bit of storage back here. Like I say, I got a family and uh, these mountain house mills, they last quite a long time. So I got uh, all kinds of different, you know, different ones. These ones here, Chili Mac, my favorite, absolute favorite. But I think I got one, two, 
five five or six of them stuffed back in there uh good to have a quick meal if you need to got some instant co uh, cold compress here just in case a couple of these little fire starters my boy bought me uh, when he was out and about and i think he got them for me for christmas or something like that but they're just the cheap ones you know uh you light the light the bag here and uh or you pour it out and the, the stuff inside here you just light them up and and uh says it lights wet wood and um all kinds of stuff so it's kind of nice to throw these in here keep them in there just in case i need to to get a fire going <clears throat> but that's pretty much what i have on this side here just the food and uh other side there i have my uh cook kit and all that and i'll go over there and show you what i have in it it's not fully loaded out yet still working on it but uh yeah we'll get up front here and check out what i have up front so never mind the seat it's a forward thing <laughs> but uh we'll start here in the the door panel um like to get this working hands it's really good stuff your hands get all cracked up and dried you know um stuff works great inside my door just got a flashlight get her yarded out of there but it's a duracell 1500 lumens very bright very nice i uh, just got the the one switch and uh got like four different modes to it so nice to keep in there uh, underneath that got a couple of glow sticks you know you can hook these on a lanyard or something <clears throat> excuse me guys you can hook them on a lanyard or most of them have a little lanyard or a string you can use them you know if you're in distress you can wave them around in a circle try to catch somebody's attention or you know if you're off walking in the hills or something you can use them as uh landmarkers or even just to find your way back to wherever you got to go i uh, got myself a spork i like the long ones because of them mountain houses comes in handy this one here is a sea to summit i think they're only about nine bucks or something like that but titanium spork um inside just got basics another glow stick got some uh storm proof matches nice to have they uh they're waterproof in the wind strike anywhere you know really good to keep in here tire gauge um headlamp run this little petzl the active very good very bright and also has a red light to it so you can see at night um, that way you don't mess up your vision if you're walking at night or something like that and uh or draw too much attention you can just run that red light and you can see what you're still doing but and then uh, another little cheap flashlight i think this is a coast oh no it's a pelican pelican flashlight um just got it in a little sheath sitting in the door so that's there i have uh in the bottom just the gerber my gerber lmk2 very nice got its own little sharpener here um i love this knife Got a, you can use it as a glass breaker. I mean, these things are a very stout, stout knife. Uh, going on to the front here, another flashlight. I like light. I like to see what I'm doing. It's got the end light here and uh, floodlight. And then they're also magnetic. So you can, you know, if you got to work on something, just stick her to your pickup and and you'll have something to see. So, and it's also got a... Uh, a red light too so pretty nice to have uh, another little cheap fire starter a little flint and steel always good to have uh wet or uh toe warmers i got my uh mechanics gloves just keep those in the door never know when you're going to need them some paracord a couple of screwdrivers in there these here are my safety glasses, which are actual, uh, they're a prescription, and because I'm blind, it's nice to have them. <laughs> but these ones here, they are a safety glass type with the prescription, and the uh, they got the, um, you know, they go to the shaded or whatever you want to call them, transparent or I don't know what the heck you call them, but love them. And that's it in this door here. 
So, uh, coming inside the cab. Well, I'll get this stuff put away and we'll see you in a second. All right, so coming in the cab here. Uh, right now, this is where my uh, pickup gun stays. I, I need to get one of those mounts, you know, that uh, you can mount on here and they got the magnetic uh, deal here. That way it uh, stays right here. It's easier to grab. When I'm sitting in here, I can grab it if I need to, but it's just kind of a kind of a nuisance being right there. But this is the Taurus G2C, um, nine millimeter. Very, very nice, very fun to shoot. Um, pretty darn accurate. I love this little knife, especially for a little pickup gun. So that's where she sits right there. Uh, let's get in here. Pretty much stock. I mean, you can't really, you know, there's nothing really. I got uh, the Livewire TS Plus on here because it is the six liter. Down here, I have my another ferro rod and striker. That's the sheath that my buddy from Old West Armory made me. And uh, have the striker and rod in there that uh, Redneck Renegade made me. But inside, uh, well, up here, I just have a um, little Milwaukee razor knife. And it's got a seatbelt cutter on it. So that just kind of hangs out right upstairs here. So I always know where it's at. And everybody else in the car knows where it's at as well. In my center console. A uh, little goodie bag. You know, got some almonds and, um, you know, those crush uh, flavored water deals. Just to add a little bit of flavor to your water. Um, just for a quick snack. Got kids, like I say. Um, in here, another little kit that I have put together. It's got... Uh, it's got hand warmers. Um, let's see here. Get this thing opened up and we'll be all right. But it's got extra batteries. Um, I keep, you know, try to keep just double A. And I think I have triple A in here. Yep, I got triple A right here. So I got double A and triple A batteries. Um, hand warmer, sanitizer, lip balm, another uh, bug spray, got the Repel 100, love this stuff, works great out here, and it's just a, a mixture of goodies, just, I have a lot of hand warmers in here, you know, um, like I say, I got sanitizer, and sanitizer works for starting a fire as well, um, I'll have to really get in here and kind of show you guys what all I have but got some toothpaste in here got a little toothbrush in here oral hygiene is um, key you got to keep your teeth and everything good to go just in case so a lot of people will get infections and you'd be a sad sad guy uh, let's see here another another repel 100 uh, mosquitoes are horrible out here cough drops you know a quick multi-tool it's got a little uh, corkscrew, uh, Phillips, got a flathead, a couple of blades. You know, this is, I think, one of them cheap ones you get from the, uh, just for being the NRA member, but works good. A whistle that a buddy gave to me. It's also got a little compass on it and a container. So it's got a little unscrew this and you can put matches or what are you, whatever you have in here, you know, but um, don't have anything in it right now. So it just kind of just hangs out in here. Let's see here. Got some uh, more lotion. Uh, the wife likes to keep lotion in every car we go into, so, and it's kind of nice for me too. What the heck, this thing drives me nuts. Uh, battery charger, you know, it's always nice to have because everybody uses batteries, you know, for their phones and stuff. And then a little SOG multi-tool. Love this thing. Forget what model it is. But uh, let's see if I can get it out of here. Oh, geez. So, this is the uh, power lock, is what it is. But very nice. Very easy to deploy. It's uh, got gears inside of it. So, but very, very nice. You can 
open it, close it one handed and uh, comes in use. So that's what's inside my little uh, compartment here. All right, coming over to the passenger side here. Uh, we'll start, this is where my wife sits. So she has to deal, sorry to pick up some mess, but she deals with most of the kids. So she's got the napkins, baby wipes that are nice and completely frozen, but they'll thaw. Uh, right here is just one of those little battery jump packs. Now this one here I got from Costco. Will not start my pickup, so I need a bigger one. Um, you know, if you guys have used them for your diesel pickups, let me know what you use. You know, this one here I think is only 800 milliamps, and it, uh, trust me, it won't touch it. I've tried it. <laughs> but we have a little uh, charger plug into my cigarette lighter or my 12 point adapter there uh, to charge our phones or, you know, whatever else kids maybe bring their tablets or computers or whatever if we're on long, uh, road trips and they'd like to watch them. So, peace of mind, sanity. Inside the glove box, just your normal stuff. Got some jerky, uh, pickup paperwork, more of these hot hands. Gotta love them. And uh, just in case I run out, this is a last resort. Um, I've, I've heard about those coffee grind ones and I've never tried them, but uh, thinking about trying them. So there's not much, too much in here, just some osium spray, you know, your normal stuff you keep in your jockey box. But this door here, we have another pair of gloves, a bigger thing of hand sanitizer because right now everybody's freaking out, but it's what I carry all the time and more hand warmers. Um, got her a little tire beater. <laughs> if that's what you want to call it you know to go check the tires and stuff but so something over here to, for her to play with if she needs to we'll uh get into the back and show you what i have on this side here i have to move the car seat and everything so i'll be right back all right got that out of the way we'll get this side folded up hopefully it comes up there it's a little easier but uh, this is what I got back here, 55 gallon contractor bags. Um, these things come in handy. You can use them for, you know, uh, shelter, poncho. Um, you can even fill them up with leaves. And that way you get a kind of a cushion between you and great mother earth. Kind of keep some of your uh, body heat in, but got these. Uh, more food. <laughs> I'm a big guy. I got a big family. I like to eat. And uh, you can't go wrong with smoked oysters. They'll last and they taste good. I like them. Kids, not so much. Wife won't eat them, but I'll eat the heck out of them. Got another little uh, survival sleeping bag. Brand new, nice bright orange. Um, you can use it as a sleeping bag or a coverage. Um, shows you how to make tarp, tarp shelters. Pretty neat little, little bag here, good and thick. Say I've never used it. Hopefully don't plan on it, but if I need to, I got it. Uh, in here, just got some uh, Dermaplast pain relief spray. Scrapes, boo-boos, little things like that. Kind of nice to, uh, you know, for the kids or whatever, just to kind of relieve the pain a little bit and then put a Band-Aid on it. Uh, have a little cook kit. This is just a cheap Stanley one, but uh, it's got, you know, your bowl and... Uh, you got your pot here got a lid more goodies um, a little stove you can set on your butane stoves and I think well, I don't have a lighter in here nope but yeah it's just a little uh, compact little stove got a lighter right here another Bic the spatula uh, some matches seasoning got to have that and some aluminum foil and some wax paper always come in handy if you're out fishing get a fish or something like that get it cooked up and you got a dang good meal or your mountain house meals if you don't want to eat them in the bag but that's kind of pointless so that's what i got in there I'm trying to hurry it along don't want to waste too much of your guys' time but if you're here looking at it you're at least wanting to see what I got a another survival blanket this is one of those uh, UGTs 
and uh, they fold out. I think they're seven feet long, but they have the reflective side and a uh, orange side on the inside. So another great little shelter or uh, keeping your body warm. I have my jet boil. This is always with me. A uh, great way to, you know, eat my mountain house meals, boil water, you know, whatever I need to, make some coffee. I also have the stand for it so that uh, I can cook without this uh, cup and I can actually use my pot on it if I need to. But I got the, the fuel in there and my press and coffee. So that always just hangs out back there. And I got some carabiners, just some cheap carabiners. You know, thrown in a pack back here. You never know when you need them. And some of this gear snake. So this stuff here is like a big wire tie. But do great to hold down, you know, anything you need to. Or if you want to put your uh, tarp or your sleeping bag on your pack, you need to hike it out, just wrap it around. Good to go. And another bigger uh, butane for my jet boil so let's see here I have anything else back in here a knife sharpener just to keep things uh keep things sharp but that's uh that's it I'll get this thing uh closed up and uh see you in a second so that's it guys that's uh that's what I got in my pickup um as of now it's always evolving every day every time we go somewhere you always pack something new um and then the weather, you know, it has uh, a lot to do with what you got. You know, there's no sense in carrying a bunch of cold weather gear when it's getting warm. So, uh, she's pretty well set up. Pretty good. If there's anything in here that you want me to, to go over, you know, leave in the comments. Let me know and I'll make a separate video. I've never, I haven't made one of my get home bag yet or uh, anything with my, um, uh, first aid kit and stuff like that I can show you guys let me know uh, again you know I appreciate you guys if you guys are staying this long and uh, you know I still have that 500 subscriber giveaway going on I think I'm like shoot 15 away or something like that 485 last I checked so it's getting there uh, I apologize for not making the videos but last couple weeks man we've had this flu going around that's just it's knocked down the whole damn town and I ain't kidding you so that's it. That's all I had, uh, guys. So take care, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.